Hey everybody. Um, I don't even know. I think it's week four that we have on this. I have a little bit different lighting and I'm all set up because I'm in the middle of something and uh, I've been very, very busy the last couple weeks. Um, you know, things are different right now. So something that I've loved in the past is the uh, Cathedral Village Arts Festival in Regina. It's been going on for many, many years. And I remember years ago in the 90s, I think the very first one, I was one of the performers and I performed in the uh, children's tent because my stepmom at the time was one of the first organizers and I remember sitting on the street in just like a little tent, it was like one tent, maybe like a couple jugglers out front. Anyways, full circle, uh, you know, normally the festival draws tens of thousands of people on the street and we know that we can't, you know, be together right now so this year they're running a virtual festival. And, um, you know, I'm really lucky because I auditioned and got in for the festival. And so uh, I'm, working, I'm working really hard on my uh, uh, performance for that. And I thought I'd do something different because I assume everybody, most everybody, is just doing like themselves an acoustic guitar. And uh, that is fantastic. That's awesome. And I think you know, in terms of songwriting, that's really the, the test of any good song. Does it sound good? around what I call the campfire test. You know, can you just sit around, play it on guitar and still sound good? Uh, even better is if you take the guitar away, does it still sound good, just the melody? And so uh, that is fantastic and I know when I perform live, that's mostly what I do is just myself and acoustic guitar. But I wanted to challenge myself and do something different for the festival. Um, I love the big sound of like a great band on stage and uh, even though we can't be together, I wanted to um, have a band performance. And so, well, how do you do that when it's just you and uh, it's a virtual performance? So what I've been working on for the last two weeks is a Ryan Hicks band performance where I'm playing all the parts. So I'm here at work in my studio. Uh, I've got a bit of a deadline. I've got to get the videos done tonight. So I'm going to just make a quick post, <laughs> bless you, uh, right now with this and then uh, get back to it. Um, it's been fantastic and what's really cool about it is I think three of the songs of my set, I think I'm doing six songs, maybe seven, at least three are brand new songs. So what's been cool about that is um, when it actually forces you to finish something, um, uh, paralysis by analysis I think is the term, when you've got so many options and no you know, particular deadline that you just kind of can't make decisions because there's nothing pressing and so because there was a deadline for this and because I wanted to uh, debut some of these songs like hey finish the song and uh, it was great um, and even though some of these songs have been around for a long time the song wasn't done uh, and that's a really tough thing to finish a song and I don't know if a song is really finished but at least to put it in a way that's like presentable and stuff so I'm working on um, one of my new songs a song called Run um, which started out at a Songs for Nature Kenosi camp and uh, uh, I've um, you know doing a little bit more you know electric version of this and uh, it's been great so I'm gonna get back to it and I'll uh, check back in later okay this might not apply to most of you but something that drives me nuts um, <laughs> is engineering uh, my own stuff um, it's tough because it's like two completely different brains, um, you know, to get a great electric sound or get a great piano sound or get a great vocal sound or get a great drum sound. That's a completely different brain than like I'm trying to put my heart into the performance and you're listening uh, for different things and it's just like I think most of the time it's too much. Uh, and there's a lot to be said for working with other people, uh, working in a studio. So you can just focus on the music. You can focus on the music. You can focus on the, the song. I, you know, there's so much to be said for that. Uh, for me and for this project, um, I don't really have a choice. Uh, I'm just saying it's really hard. And um, maybe it's like working a muscle because I do it and I think I do a good job of engineering. I think I do a good job of performing. Um, it's not effortless. Like if you see any of my uh, performances, uh, video that I make, or like any of my records, uh, 
takes and takes and takes. I'm not like Frank Sinatra that I can walk up to the microphone and do it in one take. Uh, it takes me a long time, but it's part of the process is, you know, in my head, and I know what I'm going for. I have a very clear vision, and that's something that's important, too, to figure out what you want, uh, to be open to things, to be open to new ideas, to be open to all sorts of things, but at the end of the day, really know where you're going. Um, at the same time, be not so with the blinders that you're not open to something new or you're not open to a different approach. Uh, definitely one of the biggest reasons to work with other musicians is just another set of ears and uh, another opinion. Um, I've never had an issue with ego or anything like that with working with anyone. Anyone that I've uh, brought into something to collaborate with, like bringing a musician to play drums or whatever, they want the same thing I want. They want to sound great. So any comments that they say or any suggestions, it's coming from a good place uh, because they think this will really make the song. And uh, you have to wear your big boy or big girl pants um, because sometimes I won't. Oh, you get your back up because you know I, you don't want that. But you know, Good communication is hearing them out. Don't shut it down. Don't shut down a good idea. Try it. There's nothing wrong with trying it. Um, at the end of the day, you're the artist and it's your song, so you've got to do that. But always, always, always be open to um, something different. And you should be. I mean, as an artist, we probably repeat ourselves a lot because of that. Uh, so anytime you get a, um, you know, a fresh perspective or a new idea, you definitely need to be uh, listening for that. Okay, I don't know what more I can say for uh, today other than just uh, it feels so great to uh, be in this. This is kind of the full context, you know, uh, recording things, um, hopping back and forth. Uh, it feels great. And uh, part of the reason that I'm doing this, you might say, Ryan, isn't that a little overkill? Why don't you just do an acoustic guitar uh, performance for your stuff? And that's great. And I did that last year, and I don't want to repeat myself. But another reason is kind of like warming up the engine for... Uh, my new songs, right? Um, you know, getting a great electric sound is going to transfer when I'm recording or doing demos for my song. So it's kind of like practice and refining it, putting it all together, working different muscles uh, as an engineer, um, as a performer, as a songwriter, uh, as an artist, as a producer. Uh, so this has been a great opportunity for that. And I am going to get back to it right now. So thanks so much, guys. Uh, and appreciate you uh, continuing with me on this journey. If you have any questions or things that you'd like to see in future videos, let me know.